Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum everyone We are HS We have seen that comparator application of op -AM in a previous video Today we will see how the comparator can be used as a window detectors Let's start First of all, what is a window detector? The answer is a window detector circuit is also called window comparator circuit. It is used to determine whether an unknown input is between two precise reference threshold voltages. It includes two comparators to detect over voltage and under voltage. The output voltages only goes high when the input voltage is within the pre-selected range okay within the pre-selected range now how the range is selected let me show you this is the circuit in which we are trying to detect whether the voltage is in between 1.6 volt and 4 volt all right it cannot be less than 1.6 or greater than 4 volt we don't want that all right so we have the minimum value by this vtr connection that is voltage divider connection on the non-inverting plus input comparator of c1 and we have given the upper value by this vtr on the inverting input minus input of the comparator c2 all right now we know two important sentences for operational of single comparator let us denote the number of sentences s1 is the output of comparator is high when its non-inverting positive input is greater than the voltage at the negative input all right that is the inverting input and s2 is the output of comparators glow when its input is less than the minus input so now we have three cases for this window detector circuit number one when the input voltage is below the range number two when the input voltage is above the range number three in between the range all right let's see the first case that is below the range we have given sinusoidal voltage or 5 volt let's see how did graphs occur run piece by is it's like this all right this green is input voltage red is the output voltage this violet is our lower reference voltage and yellow is the upper reference voltage all these colors you can see from here violet for lower yellow for upper green for input and red output so now case number one whenever we see that the green the time for which the green input is less than 1.6 that is below this violet DC voltage C1 C1 here its positive input is higher than the negative in output S1 is verified the output will be higher for this comparator but for the same case the output of C2 if we see the positive input is lower than the minus input all right because it is less than 1.6 volt so s2 is also verified here that output is low here high here low both will combine and combine output will be 0 volt now for the case 2 when when the time when the green is greater than 4 volt that is our upper range value
it is zero all right you can see from here now why it is zero i will tell you because we can see that for the upper values greater than the 4 volt the c1 the plus input is lower than the lower input and as to is verified its output will be low for c2 the positive input is higher than the negative input as to or sorry sorry s1 is verified and s1 will be high so both of these will combine and output will be zero when i say that output is high it actually means it is plus 10 volt and when i say it is low it means it is minus 10 volt all right plus 10 minus 10 volt both will combine and become zero volt now what happens when input is in between the 1.6 volt and 4 volt we can see that here the output is negative almost minus 10 volt it is low why is that because here you see that for the comparator c1 the positive input is lower then the negative input as to is verified output will be low all right for c2 the plus input is lower than the minus input as to is verified output is low both of them are low so both combined output is low that is minus 10 volt as shown here you can also make it high plus 10 volt if we reverse these connections if we reverse the sinusoidal voltage and reference voltage you will get the plus 10 volt all right now make it again create a new project let's name it san okay create a blank project okay all right new simulation profile it's again san name it whichever you want as i already said component picking us741 eval not op amp place it right here now our vtc dc voltage sources rotate them like this like this now place wire combine them all right now our ground that is zero volt rotate by r place it right here and right here now we may copy this comparator like this now this is c2 now we have to combine both of these minus to the plus input of c2 comparator 1's negative input to the comparator 2's positive input now our v sinusoidal voltage source like this keep it like this you may rotate it like this all right again place wire connect it ground connect the circuit terminal to that of a ground now it's time for our resistors this one right here this one right here right here and right here four resistances we are creating vtr connections connect them like this
to this this one r2 with the negative terminal this is vdr all right again we need a ground grounding this resistance upper resistance like this now it's almost complete now for output combine the both outputs of comparators and place a resistor like this now grounding it like this Now we have to value our components. I guess I have to change the source. It will be V sinusoidal. This one. Now it's fine. Now it's time to component our values. V offset zero volt, V amplitude five volts, frequency hundred hertz, R one six point two kilo ohms. It will be a one kilo ohm. It will be a five kilo ohm. All right. It will be ten kilo. You can make five, make it for uh, one kilo as well, if you want it. It will be of six volts. Mm, four volts is much better than six volt. So I guess it should be four volts. Or it's twelve volts. Okay. Place the voltage markers here and here. This is our simulation profile. If it doesn't appear, you may go here, add your simulation profile, and you may change the settings from here. This is 100 milliseconds and 100 microseconds. All right. Oh, forget to evaluate. It will be 10 volt DC. Again, it will be 10 volt DC. Again, it will be 10 volts. And lower will also be 10 volts. Upper and lower DC voltage sources. Now, I guess it's complete. One piece bias. Yep, exactly it is. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Allah Hafiz. Guys, don't forget to subscribe down below and also give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below. The darkness.